Cognitive thought made an hour and a half long video arguing that tampons and sanitary towels should be tax exempt. The argument was basically that it is the only necessity you cannot get for free that only one of the genders need, and both should be taxed equally on the necessities. Apart from tampons, food, which both genders need, is the only other necessity you cannot get for free. The flaw in cognitive thought's argument is that he assumes women eat as much as men, or more precisely, he only thought about what we use, not how much we use of it. The second order length areas of men and women are 173 cm and 161 cm, respectively. For a body mass index of 22, the corresponding weight is 66 kg and 57 kg. Using these metrics over the ages 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80, we find that on average men need 1824 kilocalories per year and women need 1506 kilocalories per year if you do very little training. During during the ages 20 to 26, I were 186 centimeters tall and weighed 90 kilograms. Yes, I was a bit overweight, and we will correct for that. And did very little training. To maintain this weight, I needed 2,490, 2,470, 2,460, and 2,450 kilocalories per year during the ages 20, 22, 24, and 26, or on average 2,467 and a half kilocalories per year. I could, and I did, get decent food for 500 Swedish crowns per month. For a second order average man with a body mass index of 22, this translates to 370 Swedish crowns per month. For women, this translates to 305 Swedish crowns per month. You can effortlessly find 10 pack tampons for 25 Swedish crowns, which translates to 25 Swedish crowns per month if you use 10 tampons per month. So the cost for being an average man is 370 Swedish crowns, and the cost of being an average woman is 330 Swedish crowns per month. This means that it is 12% more expensive to be a man. So if tampons were tax exempt, the cost difference for being a man and being a woman would be made larger, it would be about 14% more expensive to be a man. Actual number depends on how large the taxes are. In fact, to make things equal in the way feminists want, the state need to adjust your income according to your length and gender, and it would affect women negatively more than men. 